How's it going everyone? My name is Dave and welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. Today I'm going to be discussing my thoughts on the difference between subjective and objective. Now, each individual word has a slightly different, slightly different definitions. The ones I'm referring to are, um, in the case of subjective, uh, the definition, quote, coming from, ex exactly coming from a legitimate dictionary, but quote, based on or influenced by personal feelings, tastes, or opinions, end quote. Um, and objective being the complete opposite. Now, I've come across a lot of situations where people look at things and instantly go to subjective circumstances. But the way I see it, it subjective is very... What's a good word for it? Subjective is very judgmental. And I hate that. I know that technically that statement on its own is judgmental, but subject subjective circumstances just kind of ruin people's mindsets in general. And it has always saddened me to see others fall because they mentally start hating certain aspects of themselves, of life, just certain things in general. A good example of subjective versus objective would be appearance or, you know, self-confidence of your own being. Like, a lot of people nowadays, appearance means way much more than it should mean. Um, that's kind of where the whole subjective piece comes in. But me? I don't care what, like, I don't care what you look like. You could be, like, stupid obese and have a great personality, and that would be enough for me. That's a hor that's a really, really strange example to use, I guess you could say, but it's just this world that we live in nowadays has a tendency to judge others way too much for certain aspects. Like, and even, it, a lot of the time it's self-judgmental, or others judging others for like the dumbest things ever. And that makes things subjective, way too subjective, when others' opinions shouldn't mean shit. And it bugs the crap out of me. I'm not going, this is actually going to be a shorter video just because I wanted to throw this out there. Um, it's one of the things that has very, it has bugged me for a very long time. Subjective situations. But I guess a good end statement to this. Be objective. Don't worry about what others think. Don't, don't let others' feelings, tastes, or opinions affect you. Everyone out there is fantastic in their own ways. Some part of their inner self is great. Some people are funny. Some people are genuinely kind, loving. Some people naturally... Like, the, each individual person has some part of them that is fantastic. That has nothing to do with appearance, outer form. Has nothing to do with that. And... That little piece alone could just completely kill off most of subjectiveness. Yes, there's a small portion left that no matter what you do, it'll always be there because of one's self thinking to themselves on what they're like. But I mean, you can't avoid that. But that's like a small fraction compared to a ginormous picture that others keep filling in and destroying others with. With like bullying or... Um, abuse or racism sexism that kind of stuff uh, like a lot of people have a tendency to confront others with those particular aspects and it just ruins everyone subjectiveness is horrible on that front 
However, it's not always bad, just a lot of the time, because a lot of the time it's used like that, it's, t it's a terrible thing. Between the two, objectiveness is really what should be confronted, what should be used more often. Or should I say, comforting. There are certain people out there, like myself, who will go up to someone and say, like others will ask, how do I look? Um, and whether lying or not, great. That's what I'd always say. And most of the time I'm not. It's very rare where I'm not. Where I, where, it's very rare where I am lying about it. But the reason for this is because subjective, it shouldn't matter. Other people's opinions, other people's thoughts, feelings, tastes, yada yada, should not matter. It shouldn't mean squat to what you are. I wanted to throw this out there because I actually have a friend who's struggling with this kind of ideal at the moment. Um, it took me a while to find proper wording for it to make it sound good and confrontable. Um... But, yeah, don't let others judge you for who you are. Don't let others' opinions destroy what you want to do. Just confront life as you want it. It's difficult for a lot of people to do, but being objective is... When you're an object... Once you become one with being objective, ha having objective circumstances in your life, you pretty much built the stepping stone to something great to something that whether, whether it's great as in, in bad or good depending on the person uh and their actions it's great nonetheless either way being object having objective circumstances are so much better one way or the other at least i think so what do you guys think um, do you guys think I'm a bit off on, do you guys think that the world's better impact, do you, how do I phrase this? I'm having so much trouble editing this off this time. It's so weird. Um, what do you guys think of the difference between subjective and objective? Do you think subjective circumstances, subjective appearance, subjective actions, do you think they can be uh, impacted or removed if others weren't so judgmental or do you have a different ideal on that front? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you want to suggest any, if you have any suggestions for, um, any other topics I could cover as far as like philosophical, psycho psychological, uh, statements, let me know down there as well. Um, want to check out any other stuff that I've talked about, ranted or discussed, mostly discussed at this point, I'll uh, click the link that's just right over here. However, if you want to check out any gaming stuff that I'm doing, I'm actually working on a horror RPG aside from just a normal RPG. I'll have one of those on this side. In the meantime though, I'm going to head out, but I'll talk, I'll see you guys next week for another one of these videos. For right now, see you guys later. Bye now.